Okay, so we have some logarithms and we have to expand them. So what I did was write the properties down over here. So we'll just use these. So for the first one, we have a product. So we'll use the product rule. So it'll be log base seven of five plus log base seven of 13, right? It's just the product rule. You have five times 13, so you write that as log of the first one plus log of the second one. And that's it, super, super easy. The next one is also a product rule. We have 100 times x. So that's just log of 100. That's a product rule, so we add log of x. Now, what is log of 100? Well, you could put it in your calculator and you'll get two, but let's write it down over here and do it by hand. So whenever you see a log like this and there's no base, right? There's no base here, it's missing. There's really a 10. Okay, it's implied, it's always 10. To work this out, you ask the question, 10 to what power is going to give you 100? Well, 2. So x is 2. So if you don't like that, you can just you know put it in your calculator. So 2 plus log of x. So there it is. This one is a quotient rule. So it'll be log of y minus log of 1 million. That's, that's a lot of zeros. So this is just log of y, and log of 1 million is 6. So this is minus 6, and that's the answer. Again, to do this by hand, there's really a 10 here, and so you say 10 to what power is going to give you a million? It's a lot of zeros. Uh, x equals 6. This one here is also a quotient rule, so it's ln e to the ninth minus ln 2. Ln e to the 9 is 9, and here you get minus ln 2. There's a formula. If you have ln e to the x, it's just x. So in this case, ln e to the 9th power is just 9. Uh, and one more, last one. Here we have an exponent, so we can just put it in the front. So we get negative 2 log of n. And that was the last rule, right? That was this one here. Oh, I didn't give this one a name. This one is called the power rule. So that was the power rule. I hope this helps.